Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and I am here with a Dollarama haul. I'm not sure if this will be one part or possibly two. We'll have to see how long the video gets. So I'm just going to jump right in and get started. So the first items I'm going to share with you are a couple cleaning products that I picked up. So I did grab a bottle of Tide. Now my Dollarama sells this for $3.50, which is a much better price than the grocery stores. The grocery stores will sometimes put it on sale for about $4.99. So to get it for $3.50 is a fantastic deal, especially for a Tide detergent. They do have their own at Dollarama, which I have purchased there before. But when I can find the Tide, I typically pick that up. This is the smaller bottle, but you do get one liter or 22 loads. So I still think that's a pretty good value for $3.50. Then I also picked up a container of Windex. This is just your original Windex. My windows tend to get dirty because of my little one's fingers, especially like on my screen doors. So I picked this up for that. I love Windex. I think it works. Uh, better than other like competing glass cleaners and Dollarama always sells it for three dollars which again is a decent price in comparison to other stores. Then I grabbed a Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. Again, Dollarama sells this for $2.50, which is better than other stores. And I love the deep reach. I find it cleans the bowls really well. It's good to just put this in the bowl, walk away for a little bit and let it sit and then come back and scrub it and it makes it really easy to clean. I did try, I think it was the Wizard one from Dollar Tree and I just wasn't a fan. So I am definitely going back to my Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. Then I also grabbed a magic eraser. This is the traditional Mr. Clean one. I find that the knockoff ones don't work as well. Um, I mean, they might clean as well, but they don't hold up as long as the Mr. Clean one does. And the Dollarama sells it for $1.25. Um, no different than the knockoff ones you can get from Dollar Tree. So I figure why not get the brand name one when I can. Then I did get a couple of beauty items. I picked up some new um, shampoo and body wash for men. So I actually got these for my boys. They don't like like really floral scented or sweet scented um, body washes, um, which I guess is understandable. They don't want to smell like a little girl or anything like that. At least that's what my elder son says. So I picked these up for them. It's Fa Men. This one is a speedster and it actually is hair and body wash, which I think is fantastic for them because they often get confused if I bet get them a bottle of body wash and a bottle of shampoo, which is which. And I had my one son putting body wash in his hair and shampoo on his body um, and his hair wasn't getting as clean. So I thought that they would be... Um, happy to have a bottle that they can put you know all over their body and not have to worry about it so the other one i got is called kickoff and this is aqua mint refreshing scent and this one is with Torin, which is an energizing scent and they were only two dollars a piece so i thought um for that price why not give them a shot and see what they think and how well they work you do get 250 milliliters in each so they're a decent size bottle um, especially for that two dollar price point then I also picked up this uh, Air Dry It Ruffled Body Mousse by L'Oreal. Um, it says heat free style, frizz resistant, stronghold for waves and curls. So you just kind of put this into damp hair, scrunch up your hair with your fingers and it's supposed to give you a really nice curl. Um, my daughter already has curly hair but I thought that this would be um, nice and helpful for her to just kind of give it more of a curl and make it a little bit tighter, a little bit nicer. And I thought I'd even give it a try myself because sometimes when my hair gets damp, it gets a little bit of a wave to it. So I thought if I put this product in and just let my hair air dry like it recommends, um, that I might get a little bit of a wave or a slight curl to it. It was only $4, but this other places I know is like eight to 10. So again, such a great deal. Then I did pick up some bath bombs for my daughter. She's having a frozen theme for her birthday coming up here at the end of June. So I got these ones to go as part of her gift. So this is frozen themed and you do get four bath bombs in there for $3.50. And each of these actually has a ring inside. So I thought that she would really enjoy those because every time she gets to have a bath, she gets to use a bath bomb, which they absolutely love to begin with. And then she gets a little ring in each. So that's really exciting. 
Then I also picked up some more bar soap. If you were watching my Dollar Tree haul, you probably saw me pick up a couple bars and I got some more from Dollarama. So Dollarama had the two packs of a Dove soap for $2.50, which makes each of the bars $1.25. So it's no different than getting them individually at the Dollar Tree. Uh, mind you, this one had different scents or different styles that my Dollar Tree didn't carry. So this is Dove Go Fresh uh, Revive, and it looks like it has pomegranate and maybe even mint in it. So I thought that would be a nice one for him to try. If you didn't see my Dollar Tree um, haul, I'm picking these up for my dad. He loves bar soap, but the one he normally uses isn't made anymore. So he's trying to find a new one to fall in love with. So I'm getting him small packages of soap for him to try. Then I also got Pure and Sensitive. It's the fragrance free. He does have sensitive skin, but the soap he was using before wasn't, um, you know, sensitive or fragrance free. So I thought I would pick this one up for him and see if it makes a difference for his skin and if he enjoys it. And then I also got him the Shea Butter. So it's a beauty cream bar with shea butter and a warm vanilla scent. I absolutely love a vanilla, but I'm not a fan of bar soap, but I still might keep one of these bars for myself. Um, maybe just even for, you know, hand washing in the uh, bathroom. Not something I would use all over my body. I just don't like the idea of soap sitting around for too long, but maybe something that I'm going to be using constantly and it's not going to last for a super long time would be okay. I'm not really sure, but I did get these for him. Like I said, they work out to be $1.25 per bar, so it's a pretty good price, especially for trying out a new soap that you're not sure if you're going to like or not. Then I guess kind of a beauty item, and it's also a repeat buy for me, are the lens cleaning wipes. So these are the pre-moistened wipes uh, for cleaning your glasses. They're $1.25 for 20, which is a pretty decent uh, value. I keep these in my car and then I'll also keep a package or two um, in my purse. And that way, if my glasses need a quick cleaning, I can just pull one of these out. They're like your little like wet um, nap size. So they're really convenient for on the go. And then I did get a couple um, hair accessories. So these are by Goodies. They're called Goodie Softies. And based off the packaging, they almost seem like they might be an older item that they found in the back and pulled out. But I'm okay with that because it's not like hair accessories go bad. Uh, you do get two accessories in here for $1.50. This one you get like a purple sequin bow and this silver flower. Um, now with these, they say to secure to style by simply sticking the softies no clip grips to your hair and then to remove you just slide them down throughout your hair. So they don't actually have any clips on them whatsoever. It's almost like a Velcro type material. So I'm excited for um, my littlest one to try these. She has really thin hair, so I thought that they would work well for her because a lot of the times with the bows, they have such a heavy like alligator clip style on them that they're just too much for her hair and they, the weight of them makes them slide out. So I thought that these ones would be nice. You're still supposed to be able to pull back a substantial amount of hair and have it hold. So like I said, I'm excited to try them and see if they work. And then I also got her this one, which has a blue bow and a pink flower. Then I also got these really pretty little sequin stars by Goody. They're really sparkly and it was a two pack for a dollar, I think $1.25 or $1.50. Most of the hair accessories that Dollarama puts out when it's either the Goody or the Scunchy are around that price point, which is absolutely fabulous because Goody is sold other places for a lot more money. And then I also grabbed, I guess this kind of segues into health, are the melatonin extra strength um, sublingual tablets. So these are to help you fall asleep and improve sleep quality. Sometimes I have some really restless sleeps. So I thought that these would be nice to have on hand to hopefully, you know, improve my sleep a little bit better. Um, they're also chocolate mint flavored. Uh, Jameson is a trusted brand. Um, I'm not sure about the value standpoint on these. It was $4 for the 10 tablets. Um, I haven't tried, you know, looking at another store to see if a package of these is a better value, 
but I don't even know if they're going to work for me so I like how it's a smaller box rather than wasting money on a larger one which might be better value but if I'm never going to end up using it definitely isn't. They also had ones for um, like cold, like preparing for a cold if you feel the symptoms coming on. And then they also had one for energy as well. So definitely do take a look at these. Um, my store that I went to actually had them in two places. So they had them down like the beauty and health aisle with the rest of the like medicine and stuff like that. And then they also had them hanging up by the cash. So definitely check both places if you are looking for these. And I think that's where I'm actually going to end part one of my haul as I do have quite a little bit left to share with you. So if you want to stay tuned for my next video, definitely do click that bell just to make sure that you're notified when I get around to posting it. I hope you guys are staying safe, happy and healthy and I'll see you soon.